Bathrotum was an ancient Greek and later Roman city in Epirus. In modern times it is an archaeological site in Vlora County, Albania, some 14 kilometers south of Saranda and close to the Greek border. It was known in antiquity as Beta Omicron Upsilon Theta Rho Omega Tau Omicron New or Balthrotios in ancient Greek and Bathrotum in Latin. It is located on a hill overlooking the Viveri Channel and part of the Butrant National Park. Inhabited since prehistoric times, Buthrotum was a city of the Greek tribe of the Charonians, later a Roman colony and a bishopric. It entered into decline in late antiquity, before being abandoned during the Middle Ages after a major earthquake flooded most of the city. History Ancient Bautraton was originally a town within the region of Epirus. It was one of the major centers of the Greek tribe of the Charonians, with close contacts to the Corinthian colony of Corsera. According to the Roman writer Virgil its legendary founder was the seer Hellenus, a son of the king Priam of Troy, who had moved west after the fall of Troy with Neoptolemus and his concubine Andromache. The Greek historian Dionysius of Halicarnassus, as does the Latin poet Virgil, wrote that Aeneas visited Bautraton after his own escape from the destruction of Troy. The earliest archaeological evidence of settled occupation dates to between 10th and 8th centuries BC, although some claim that there is earlier evidence of habitation in the 12th century BC. Excavation at Bautraton has yielded Proto-Corinthian pottery of the 7th century and then Corinthian and Attic pottery of the 6th century. However there are no indications of a prehistoric settlement. The original settlement probably sold food to Corfu and had a fort and sanctuary. Balthraton was in a strategically important position due its access to the Straits of Corfu. By the 4th century BC it had grown in importance and included a theatre, a sanctuary to Asclepius and an agora. Around 380 BC, the settlement was fortified with a new 870 metres long wall, with five gates, enclosing an area of four hectares. In 228 BC Buthrotum became a Roman protectorate alongside Corfu and Romans increasingly dominated Buthrotum after 167 BC. In the next century, it became a part of a province of Macedonia. In 44 BC, Caesar designated Buthrotum as a colony to reward soldiers that had fought on his side against Pompey. The local landholder Titus Pomponius Atticus objected to his correspondent Cicero who lobbied against the plan in the Senate. As a result, Buthrotum received only small numbers of colonists. In 31 BC, Emperor Augustus fresh from his victory over Mark Antony and Cleopatra at the Battle of Actium renewed the plan to make Buthrotum a veterans colony. New residents expanded the city and the construction included an aqueduct, a Roman bath, houses, a forum complex, and a nymphium. During that era, the size of the town was doubled. In the 3rd century AD, an earthquake destroyed a large part of the town, leveling buildings in the suburbs on the Virena Plain and in the forum of the city centre. Excavations have revealed that city had already been in decline. However, the settlement survived into the late antique era, becoming a major port in the province of Old Epirus. The town of late antiquity included the Grand Triconch Palace, the house of a major local notable that was built around 425. In the early 6th century, Buthrotum became the seat of a bishop and new construction included a large baptistry one of the largest such Paleo-Christian buildings of its type, and a basilica. The walls of the city were extensively rebuilt, most probably at the end of the 5th century, perhaps by Emperor Anastasius. The Ostrogoths under Indulf raided the Ionian coast in 550 and may have attacked Buthrotum. Evidence from the excavations shows that importation of commodities Wine and oil from the eastern Mediterranean continued into the early years of the 7th century when the early Byzantine Empire lost these provinces. In this, it follows the historical pattern seen in other Balkan cities. 
with the 6th to 7th century being a watershed for the transformation of the Roman world into the early Middle Ages. The Diocese of Buthrotum was initially a suffragan of Nicopolis, but in the 9th and 10th centuries it is listed with the suffragans of Naupactus. Two of its bishops are mentioned in extant documents. Stephanus signed the joint letter of the bishops of Epirus Vetus to Emperor Leo I, the Thracian in the aftermath of the killing of Proterius of Alexandria in 458, and Matthias signed the synodal letter of the bishops of the province to Pope Hormus in 516 concerning the ordination of Metropolitan John of Nicopolis. It became a Latin church see under Angevin and Venetian rule. No longer a residential bishopric, Buthrotum is today listed by the Catholic Church as a titular see. By the 7th century, following the model of classical cities throughout the Mediterranean, Buthrotum had shrunk to a much smaller fortified post and with the collapse of Roman power was briefly controlled by First Bulgarian Empire before being regained by the Byzantine Empire in the 9th century. Medieval and Venetian period it remained an outpost of the empire fending off assaults from the Normans until 1204 when following the Fourth Crusade. The Byzantine Empire fragmented, Butrin falling to the breakaway despotate of Epirus. In the following centuries, the area was a site of conflict between the Byzantines, the Angevins of southern Italy, and the Venetians, and the city changed hands many times. In 1267, Charles of Anjou took control of both Buthrotum and Corfu leading to further restorations of the walls and the Great Basilica. The Republic of Venice purchased the area including Corfu from the Angevins in 1386. However, the Venetian merchants were principally interested in Corfu and Buthrotum once again declined. By 1572 the wars between Venice and the Ottoman Empire had left Buthrotum ruinous and at the order of Domenico Foscarini, the Venetian commander of Corfu, the administration of Buthrotum and its environs was shifted to a small triangular fortress associated with the extensive fish weirs. The area was lightly settled afterwards, occasionally being seized by the Ottoman Turks in 1655 and 1718, before being recaptured by the Venetians. Its fisheries were a vital contributor to the supply of Corfu, and olive growing together with cattle and timber were the principal economic activities. Modern the Treaty of Campo Formio of 1797 split between France and Austria the territory of the Republic of Venice which France had just occupied and abolished and under Article 5 of the treaty. Butrent and the other former Venetian enclaves in Albania came under French sovereignty. However, in 1799, the local Ottoman governor Ali Pasha Tepelina conquered it and it became a part of the Ottoman Empire until Albania gained its independence in 1912. By that time, the site of the original city had been unoccupied for centuries and was surrounded by malarial marshes. Archaeological Excavations The first modern archaeological excavations began in 1928 when the fascist government of Benito Mussolini's Italy sent an expedition to Buthrotum. The aim was geopolitical rather than scientific, aiming to extend Italian hegemony in the area. The leader was an Italian archaeologist, Luigi Maria Ugolini who despite the political aims of his mission was a good archaeologist. Ugolini died in 1936, but the excavations continued until 1943 and the Second World War. They uncovered the Hellenistic and Roman part of the city including the Lion Gate and the Skian Gate. After the communist government of Enver Hoxha took Albania over in 1944, foreign archaeological missions were banned. Albanian archaeologists including Hassan Sika continued the work. Nikita Khrushchev visited the ruins in 1959 and suggested that Hoxia should turn the area into a submarine base. The Albanian Institute of Archaeology began larger-scale excavations in the 1970s. 
Since 1993, further major excavations have taken place led by the Butron Foundation in collaboration with the Albanian Institute of Archaeology. Recent excavations in the western defences of the city have revealed evidence of the continued use of the walls, implying the continuation of life in the town. The walls themselves certainly seem to have burnt down in the 9th century, but were subsequently repaired. After the collapse of the communist regime in 1992, the new democratic government planned various major developments of the site. The same year, remains of Butrint were included in the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. A major political and economic crisis in 1997 and lobbying stopped the airport plan and UNESCO placed it on the list of World Heritage in danger, because of looting lack of protection, management and conservation. Archaeological missions during 1994-9 uncovered further Roman villas and an early Christian church. Butrant National Park Butrant National Park is a national park created in November 2000 and located in southern Albania. It protects 94.24 square kilometers of historic landscape, archaeology and environment. The park's boundary includes the seaside municipality of Kazar Meal. The park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is one of the most important archaeological sites in the country containing different artifacts and structures which date from the Bronze Age up, until the 19th century. A number of major monuments are still extant including the city walls, late antique baptistry, great basilica, theatre and Venetian castles. In addition to archaeological remains the site is robed by natural woodland with a complex ecosystem which depends on the nearby freshwater lake, Butrent and Vivari Channel which drains the lake into the Ionian Sea. It is this combination of historic monuments and natural environment that makes Butrent such a unique place. A landscape with monuments as beloved of the grand tourists of the 18th and 19th centuries. The Albanian government established the Butrant National Park in 2000. The founding director was Oren Ter, followed by Raymond Kola. Butrant became an important center of cultural management and a great example how to manage this heritage. With the support of Albanian institutions, the Butrant Foundation, the World Bank and UNESCO the situation was improved to the point that UNESCO removed the site from the danger list by 2005. The National Park was also made a UNESCO World Heritage Site during these years as well as a Ramsar site. The park was created by the Albanian Ministry of Culture in partnership with UNESCO, ICCROM and ICOMOS. The underlying intention was to create a sustainable cultural heritage resource involving local communities and national institutions to serve as a model for other parks around Albania. The park is now a major center for archaeology and conservation training schools organized by the Butrant Foundation in partnership with the Albanian Institutes of Archaeology and Monuments, foreign universities and international specialists and consultants. There is an active program of events in the theater, concerts and performances, and outreach programs for local schools and colleges. The site is a part of the list of Ramsar wetlands of international importance. In 2010, national authorities demolished over 200 illegal structures in Khazar Meal that violated the town's master plan and the integrity of Butrant National Park. On the other side, locals pretend that a selective campaign was conducted instead. The remainings of the demolished buildings have yet to be removed by authorities. Directions Butrant is accessible from Saranda, along a road first built in 1959 for a visit by the Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev. This road was upgraded during the summer of 2010. The construction was somewhat of an environmental disaster in May yet threatened Butrant's World Heritage Site status. The ancient city is becoming a popular tourist destination, attracting day trippers from the nearby Greek holiday island of Corfu. Hydrofoils and ferries run daily between the new port in Corfu and Saranda. Many visitors from Corfu use chartered coach services to visit Butrant from Saranda, and additionally, 
A regular public bus service runs between Saranda Port and Butrant. Others arrive from the QAFE boat border crossing with Greece near Conisfall and cross the Viveri Channel by means of the cable ferry at Butrant. Notable people Saint Arinus, 3rd century saint. Saint Donatus of Evoria, 4th century saint.